thinking about how to handle my cash in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the Money in the Bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I can play dirty when I want to. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Fine, I'll do it. Not that I have anything to prove. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official. Shotzi's scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced by a match against the insurgent rookie. Apparently, one half of the briefcase holding pair already has a little more swagger in her step after that thrilling tag team Money in the Bank victory. And let me tell you, I'm digging it. And planted them with a well-executed DDT. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. What a forearm. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Turns it right around with a counter. There's a wheelbarrow into the DDT. It's a devastating poison Rana. What a devastating poison Rana. That might have changed the landscape of this match. Ouch! Right down on the leg. We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. And off, there's the reversal. Nice handspring evasion. Kick. She scurries out of there. She will wisely return to the ring now. Shotzi there. Uh-oh. Wow, what a move. Power bomb. Oh, knee to the face. Into the buckle. Rolls through. One counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. 
Shotzi holds her off. Inverted atomic drop, not finished yet, Byron. Oh, how about the leg drop combo? Slam. Cover! One. Quick count out after one. I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. Placed in the corner. Ah, oh, Shotzi. Hit the ropes. Brutal knee to the side of the face. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. She still fights out in one. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. We might be close to the end. I don't think she even knows where she is at this point. She certainly grabbed the spotlight with this victory. Happy now? See? I can be surprising. I don't have to always play by the book. The apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are. I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her. I did what you asked, so let's figure out this cash-in. Fine. I've got to head out now, but get your lame thoughts in order and we'll talk about it next week. Ugh, you're the worst.
It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Arkansas, Princess. Blessed with natural ability and her aunt's guidance, the sky's the limit for this superstar. Guidance is well and good, but you've got to be willing to take charge of your own career or you'll wake up one day and wonder where it went. This superstar looks ready to make a statement. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tank. The red hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown the rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a no disqualification match? Bring on the chaos. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Fighting back with a counter. Picture perfect. Good lord, taking flight. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. Oh boy, she found a kendo stick. This mask might just get hard to watch. Kendo stick impact. One wicked attack after another. Shotzi is being taken apart here. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. I know she's in a league of her own, but this is ridiculous.
Delivered into the barricade. Top rope, putting it all on the line. To the sky. All the way to the outside. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. And Shotzi stops any momentum that was building against her. She got tired of being pushed around. Now wants to push the advantage. Ugh, gets put into the barricade. Someone's gonna get hurt. Good luck catching your breath after that. I don't know if Shotzi can withstand much more of this. Shotzi has to find an opening and respond. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. She's got a stop sign. What is she gonna do with it? She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Shades of the old EC Dawn as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. And she still fails to extend any. We're seeing the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently, she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Looking to capitalize. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And some teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase. unexpected you defending me in the ring certainly was I was talking about Raquel we're tag team partners it's not like I don't like you you have literally told me before that you don't like me Ava fair point but I didn't know you you were just some new girl coming in to take my spot I wasn't trying to take anyone's spot. I was trying to start my career. Sure, but your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business already. You even knew some of the crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me and it was difficult seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? It certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. <laughs> you're just kinda mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other which is actually a good thing if we're going to work together on this cash-in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're going to do it. Speaking of... Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I do not. Well, this is not great.
We need you to go to Shotzi and Raquel and tell them to give our briefcase back. They're not listening to us. Hate to say it, guys, but WWE briefcase law has always been pretty vague. I'm not sure if possession is nine-tenths of the law, but it's certainly a fractional value of some sort. But they stole it from us! Stole it! Ava, I'd expect you of all people to understand a bit of deviousness. But both of you, save your breath. A decision has already been made. WWE management has decreed that you'll face them for the briefcase in a match next week. That's not fair, Molly. Didn't say it was, but that's what's happening. Then we're going to use everything at our disposal to make sure they never try anything like this ever again. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Arkansas, Princess. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. It's the heart. Raquel Rodriguez. After a shocking turn of events, Ava Moreno and her partner's Money in the Bank briefcase is back up in the air tonight against Shotzi and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it's not technically in the air because its new owners, Shotzi and Raquel, have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air somewhere. Thanks, Saxton. You should have been a detective. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Man. Places are right in the corner. Oof, deadly nightshade. And a sidewalk slam. Running hurt Colorado. Beautiful. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Now, oh, it goes power bomb. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. And some effective offense with that one. Caught with a clothesline. Back into the ring. Capitator! Incoming! She was clearly waiting for that. Finds room and lands a jawbreaker. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. She's feeling the hurt here. A lot of energy left. Fresh part of the tag. She's in the back. Watch out. Whoa! 
And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. And she'll get sent out the hard way. Shotzi and Raquel. What's Shotzi doing? It's the stolen Money in the Bank briefcase. It said it was in a safe place. I guess the safe place was under the ring, Byron. The original briefcase winner counters. She's the one who's taking advantage of the referee distraction now. One, two, three. This match is over. Well, it's over, but that's probably not the ending Shotzi and Raquel had in mind. And the ownership of the Money in the Bank briefcase is officially returned to the original winners. Hopefully now they can put this behind them and officially set their sights on cashing in for the Tag Team Championships. At the very least, I bet they'll keep better track of the briefcase from now on. Okay, that was fun. And look how far you've come. Didn't even hesitate to use that briefcase against her. Not like that so-called honorable choice you made when you faced me. I will admit, fighting a little dirty is a good time. You may have had a point. That's my girl. Knew there was a little rebel in you, LJ. And now that's settled, we still need to decide how we're cashing in our briefcase. Our? Nice. And it's about time we finally have this conversation. But who gets to decide how we do it? You want to face me in the ring again? Whoever wins gets to call the shots. I'm ready. Nah, not when I'm starting to think you might not be the worst person ever. Generous. <laughs> Let's take out our aggression on other people who are arguably worse than you. A beat the clock challenge. One of us takes Raquel, one of us takes Shotzi. Whoever wins faster gets to decide how we cash in. I love it. I'll face Raquel. Then I'll take Shotzi. Best of luck, partner. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Arkansas, Princess. This young superstar really is the complete package. She's got power, determination, 
Grace. Apparently dirt on you, Saxton. Give it a rest. She still has a lot to prove. This superstar looks ready to make a statement. Raquel Rodriguez. After reacquiring their stolen briefcase in a tag team match, Ava Moreno's partner is now facing Raquel Rodriguez one-on-one -on -one while earlier tonight, Ava took on Shotzi. Maybe they wanted to teach Raquel and Shotzi individual lessons about stealing? It feels like something other than morality is at play here, especially since these teammates have decided to turn this into a beat-the-clock challenge. And Ava set a tough time to beat at three minutes and 47 seconds. Oof, deadly nightshade. She's going up. Top rope here. Blast off. Shooting star press. Headed to the top rope. Take off. From way up high. Consecutive high-risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. She's taking some big hits here. All the leverage in this match is slipping away from Rodriguez. Raquel is certainly being tested here. Does somebody come? Oh, look out. Oh, what a splash. And now she's looking to go top rope. Oh. Raquel is nothing but absolute destruction. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Oh, good grief. Turn your lights out. Launching. Diving leg drop from way up high. And now she's getting routed. Yeah, she needs to revise her methods quickly. Uh-oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Reversal from Raquel. Raquel's finally able to slip. All right, snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose-off. No. Oh, man. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Thrown back in under the ropes. There. Could that be the table turner she so desperately needed? Big forearm. <laughs> Keeping into the wheelbarrow, up and up into the DDT. This onrush has got to be draining Rodriguez. Raquel's got to start turning the tide somehow. Running Hurricane Colorado. Top rope, here we go. Flying. She's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Splash! Massive. Then Raquel come back from that. Going for it. Perhaps we're going to see it. Scorpion death rope. There it is. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.
A deal's a deal. You beat my time of 347. Whenever you want to make a move with the briefcase for the Tag Team Championships, let me know. The decision is yours. And I'll use it wisely.